Survival genres come a long way, there's so much choice available now, but there are still obviously a lot of copycats and very similar games to some of the biggest we've seen out there. Whether or not you want a cosy farming title, maybe a bit of FPS toxicity, there is definitely a game out there for you. But what about a driving survival game? On the Future Games Showcase today, a brand new trader, a dev diary in fact, detailing what you can expect with this game that's going to be coming to PC and PlayStation as an exclusive. It's not going to be on Xbox. A rare win for PlayStation, which seemingly is being left behind in terms of wanting brand new survival games in the future. So many of these survival games are only releasing on Xbox and PC. So what is Pacific Drive? Well, we've seen a trailer revealed last year, and this dev diary does detail a lot more what to expect. You're not simply going to be driving in your car. Of course, you'll be able to explore on foot, but the focus is definitely on keeping your car in running order. You can take damage as a player, but once your car takes enough damage, then that is it, you're in trouble. So of course you are able to upgrade and make the car and customize it so it's got protection against the supernatural events and ongoings with the storms and more. It looks like it's akin to something like a roguelike. Each run that you make from your safe garage where you'll be customizing your car, you will have to put up with lots of dangers and hopefully make it back. Not only huge storms, but radiation and electrical anomalies you will have to face and hopefully survive against. DevBlog talks a lot about where the origins of this came from, from a developer that really just loved his station wagon as a kid going on adventures with his family. This hands down has to be one of the most unique survival games that are hopefully going to be releasing next year. The Steam page still says 2023, but given we weren't given any release date at the end of this dev blog, I'll be surprised if it makes it. The realism in the driving itself, the dials that you can see where you've got to take care of every part of that car maybe to keep it in running order, not just making sure it's filled with gas. And that ability to customize it is so cool. It reminds me of them simulators, you know, car mechanic simulator and stuff, but this has actually got a purpose rather than just minor simulation. I showed off a lot more of the garage today as well, where it's going to be your safe spot, your home, before making these runs. And I love the idea you'll be taking these heavy duty tools out in the world with you to deconstruct wreckages to bring back them vital resources. I can't wait to see what that feels like with that huge storm maybe about to burn you up or fry you or electrify you or cause you to be covered in smog as you try and outrun it to maybe get back to your base. I used to love the Driver series back in the day as a young kid and teenager, and this has given me them kind of vibes, but obviously now mixed with survival. That game had some great driving mechanics comparatively compared to GTA and others. Honestly, I can't wait for this one. So just a very short dive. I've cut out most of the talking heads, but I will leave the link to the full dev blog if you want to see more information directly from the devs' mails. Definitely keep an eye on this and hoping it does make it this year. A single player, unique survival experience, Pacific Drive, Coming hopefully soon.